everyone and welcome to this amazing video that I've got for you today. I was going to say review but it's not this time around. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am Sony Panda. Um, if you're watching on my channel, awesome, hello. If you're watching on any other channel, hello. So I was um, actually asked by the tight spot to join the face mask hype and I thought it would be really, really cool to do. Um, so obviously everyone's making their own face masks at home, which is great instead of actually going um, out to buy some. Um, and because I've been seeing like loads of DIY videos where you're like sewing it, this, that and whatever. And I'm like, oh my God, like, can't you just make them like that? Like without having to sew, without having to get all this equipment. Cause obviously not everyone's a uh, like seamstress or seamster if they're male. Anyway, so we managed to find this video and I decided to follow it. I may have to like refer back to it just because I've had a play with it one time and I tried to create my own mask, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so you're gonna have to like bear with me with this because I'm like still trying to get used to it. Um, and for those of you who are gonna ask me, uh, my outfit is really, really casual today. I've actually got a pair of CDR, also known as Cecilia D. Raphael, um, Eterno Super Lucido tights on, Denio 15 in the colour Moreno, Moreno, Moreno. Um, because, yeah, you know, everybody just likes to know what I'm wearing sometimes if I'm wearing like hosiery and stuff. Anyway, right, so let me get to it because I'm like pretty excited about this. So, before I start, so you're going to see me come from here to nearer to the camera because I've got a feeling if I go like this, you're going to be like, yeah, what am I looking at? Anyway, so. I managed to get two pairs out of one pair of tights. So this is what we're looking at. It's really, it's like really simple, really easy, really actually quite fun to do, you know. Um, I had, <laughs> well, it's a bit of a dodgy pair, but it's my first pair, so it was really cool. But all you need to do is a couple of steps and you're there. So I wanted to start off by saying I've got a couple of pair of gypsy leggings. Now the first pair I did were a pair of gypsy tights and look what happened. They're now like this. Um, so yeah, so I did a pair of gypsy tights and then obviously I've got two pairs of fashion leggings. One I'm quite sad to cut up because they're like the wet look, footless um, leggings. But these are gonna make awesome masks too. And the other, is a leopard print. So thank you, Gypsy, for letting me destroy these, but for the good, for the good. Anyway, right, so what you need to do is, I'm gonna start with the leopard because I can't, I can't do the, the wet look just yet. I'm a bit, I'm a bit sad. So, take it all out, right. So we are only gonna be working with the end part. So if you can think of something else to do, with the rest of this, cool. Otherwise, they may have to be going in the bin. And you're also gonna need a good pair of scissors. Now, I try to do it with normal household scissors. They came out looking pretty raggo, so I wouldn't recommend those. If you've got some really good clothing scissors, like so, then you're gonna need these. And you're also gonna need a tape measure, because you're gonna need to measure out 11 inches. I used a ruler last time and while well, the ruler did not work for me basically I managed to do 10 inches instead of 11, don't know how. Anyway, so and then probably a mirror so you could try it on after. I'll be using my phone. Anyway, so first things first is you need to cut off the ends. So before I start cutting. So you see that cuff bit here? You're gonna to need to get rid of that. So it's easier if you just obviously fold them. If I go quiet sometimes, yeah, just appreciate that. Cause I'm in a very talkative mood today and I will just waffle on. So if I'm not talking a lot, it's cool. Just save that moment. So this doesn't have to be super, super neat. And I'm saying that because, well, I'm not super, super neat. I'm trying to take my time, but it's not working in my favor. So there we go. That's one off. I 
And by the way, also guys, if you hear background noise, just ignore it. It'll be my parents and my sister because they're decorating this weekend. So if you hear any shouting or any la 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 la, you'll know it's them. Okay, right, now that the ends are off and they're pretty, pretty much even, I say. Actually, yeah. Oh, go me. Right, yeah, so they're, because they're pretty much even, that is awesome. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to measure 11 inches from the end to about there. Now it would help if you actually had a pen here or some sort of chalk because they that might help. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and make like a little nick in these. Oh, these aren't lining up well. Just to make it easier. Obviously because we're trying to use less stuff here to make this, aren't we? So, okay, so it's about there. I might do it just slightly longer than 11, just because, God forbid, if I end up chopping it like sideways or something. Right, and then what you need to do is obviously just cut that. Oh my god, why is it so hard? Oh, do you know what? I'm going to do it leg by leg. I can't do both in one go. It's just... It's too much. It's too much for me to handle. <laughs> I did it so well on the other pair. Why can't this pair just work for me? Goodness. Right, I'm going to try and do it. But yeah, if you if you guys are better at this than me, then yeah, I apologise if I'm if I don't if it seems like I don't know what I'm doing because you know I don't I don't sew a lot. Although it is something that I am wanting to take up soon. I used to love it when I was younger. Um, and I stopped doing it. So right, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, guys. Please bear with me here. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me now. People make it look so easy on YouTube. You know when they do it and they're just cutting and they're like, la, 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 la. And I'm like, oh, yeah, man. This seems super, super easy to do. No, it ain't. Right. Let's make done. On to the second. Now, I'm hoping this will be a little bit quicker. Just because I don't want to bore you guys. Perfecto. You're going to be left with this. I'm sure you're going to make a cool pair of shorts or something. Maybe, oh, actually, yeah, maybe you could use it during the workout or something. Who knows? Utilize them. Anyway, right. So you're going to be, so you're going to end up making two pairs of masks with this, by the way, that I forgot to mention. Um, so, yep, got my pieces. I'm happy. Then what you need to do is on one side only so it probably help if you just put your hand through just obviously get the pieces away from each other on one side only you're gonna cut just a rounded piece off it doesn't have to be big um i'm just gonna go freestyle i'm not even gonna measure it out if you want to be really really particular and really really like perfectionist about it or by all means in it no one's gonna say nothing to you but yeah, I thought I'd just tell you that I'm just going to roughly chop it. I that might make a difference if I hold it another way. I 
God. My third hole is down. Oh my god, this is so much harder than it actually like looks. Jeez. <laughs> right. One side looks so much better than the other. Oh my oh my gosh, right. So there we go. The bottom bit is my better side, the top bit, I don't even know what's going on. Right, there we go, so there's that. Now what you need to do is then you need to fold it, I'm going to call it, I was going to call it outside in, but it kind of isn't. Um, so what I'm going to do is have it like this, but then fold it in so your cut bits are facing you rather than facing inwards. And then what you want to do is with the folded part here, not this part here, Fold apart there is have that facing you because what you're going to do is in the oh, what's that oval? What kind of is oval? Semicircle, let's call it semicircle. Semicircle. Um, yeah, we're actually going to make little slits here, so that's why you want it facing inwards. Now, you don't want the slits to be too big, you'd rather have them small first, and then if you need to make them bigger after, then yeah, by all means. but the last thing you want to do is make them big and then you're like, oh no, I should have just done it a little bit smaller. Cool. And then, so what the woman did in the video was, oh my God, what's happening with me? What the woman did in the video was she stuffed it with, um, with something. I'll put it down in the, in the comment below because I can't remember at the top of my head now um, what she did. But ultimately, there's your mask. So this is what I mean, like, you'd rather have smaller slits and make them bigger than have big ones because, you know, they're going to go everywhere. And then what you do is, so once you've filled that thing inside like she did, oop, voila, you have a face mask. Oh, wait, does this actually look good? Hold on. Because I haven't got a mirror here, so I can't see. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel like a bit of a ninja, you know. Oh, yeah. This actually works, like, really, really well. Oh, but it's getting a bit hot, though. Oh, goodness. But, yeah, I feel like the thing that she adds inside will be, like, some sort of filter. So it's not just fabric like so. Kind of thing. But, yeah. But this is basically how you make it. And obviously you'll do the same with the other leg. I'm literally not gonna bore you to death here with it. Um, purely because, oh, it's taking me forever. The only thing I'll probably say is if you're a little bit, um, a little bit like, oh, mm, like, because if you, if you can see, right, obviously because they're leggings, they're, they're slightly wider and then they become thinner to the bottom and you can kind of tell that from, from here where it slightly goes a little bit more in. So if that's like obviously a big a big issue to some of you, um, you don't have to do it straight where the the cuff is on the um on the leggings, you can move it a little bit up. Just as long as you can get like obviously eleven inches, like a good eleven inches, then yeah, by all means. You don't have to use it right towards the end. I think I just sort of did it and I think she did it because you can probably make use of the rest of them rather than just if you're starting up here and you're using 11 inches down, it's like, well, the rest of the waist, isn't it? So, so yeah. But otherwise, this is how you do a face mask. Oh yeah, let me show you guys up close, I've got to do that. So as you can see, obviously I did my holes like a little bit small, but 
it, this is obviously dependent, like I say, like you'd rather cut it off, you'd rather cut it small um, and then make them larger if needs be, like just to cover your ears. Um, yeah, not bad, you know, not bad. But yeah, you can do this with any of your old leggings, obviously, and tights too, if they are like nice and thick. Obviously, you don't want like a thinner denim because then what's the point? Um, so yes, yeah, so if you've got any like thick, um, you've got any like thick tights, thick denier tights, I would say like 60 and over, at least 60 and over. Um, whether they're plain or patterned, you can actually make some really cool funky masks. Like this one is pretty awesome. And obviously you do want a thicker denier because I mean like look how much I'm stretching it and it's not like ripping or anything. So you do want something that is quite sturdy. But yeah, this is pretty awesome guys. I actually had so much fun doing it. I remember when I was doing my test trial with these and I'm like, oh my god, it's so cool, I actually made one. But this is like, obviously one of many um, videos that I've actually replicated. There's there's so many out there that are like, no sewing uh, DIY face masks and stuff like that. If you do really want to make it a bit more of a challenge, then find one where you are sewing um, and you can like do all these fancy bits and bobs and everything like that but this was just it's easy everybody can do it you can even have like if you've got children and stuff you can even do it with them it'll be such a cool like fun thing to do um obviously you'll probably need to do it a little bit smaller for their face it probably might be about eight inches you might want to do it roughly around for kids faces um i would say eight to start off with just measure it before you start cutting into it and then because you can always make it smaller but yeah, I had so much fun. Now I'm gonna do this pair, and what I'll do is I'll add some pictures at the end of the video so you can see how it all came out looking. Right guys, thank you for joining me in this awesome DIY video. I love doing stuff like this, it's like so much fun. Um, but yeah, have fun making them, and if you do actually make some out of your old hoods, we, um, yeah, please make sure they're washed as well. Like the last thing you wanna do is well, like unwashed around your face. Um, but yeah, if you do actually make some, whether it's like leggings or thick tights or whatever, like seriously, I want to see, like I totally want to see whether you email me, DM me, get in touch with the tight spot as well, because obviously I know um, they're obviously like doing their own DIY face masks and stuff, so yeah, we totally want to see like what you come up with. But for, yeah, for now, I'm going to say bye. So I thought I'd try my finished pieces for you guys. First one. Hey guys, so I thought I would show you what these look like, just as like these half legging type things. I thought like you could put these to another use somehow. Obviously, like you'll probably need to just finish off the edges properly, but I thought I would show you how to like dress them, just so it's like you're making the most out of out of it all. So this is the, obviously the gypsy pair of tights, the first mask that I did. And they seem pretty cool. Obviously, I've layered with my um, CDR Eterno Decido tights just to obviously show you what it looks like on. The second pair is the Gypsy Leopard Leggings. And these, obviously, I did cut them a little bit smaller so they are sitting over the knees compared to the other Gypsy tights, the multicolored ones. And finally, these are the Gypsy Wet Look Leggings that I've kind of sat just slightly shorter so they actually look like cycling shorts, in a sense. Obviously, I know there's bright rough edges on them, but obviously I'll just need to tidy it up, probably hem them or just seal the bottom, and these could actually work really, really well. <laughs> 